the whole picture of dairy is very interesting. I mean, I, I, uh, I, I mean, who doesn't love dairy products? Ice cream, cheese, you know, butter, yogurt. I mean, those are those are yummy. Uh, but I think the question is, how do you how do you avoid some of the traps, and how do you minimize the risks? And it, so, just to summarize a little bit uh, for people listening, you know, one, in the recommendations that our government has are not based on good science, according to the hundred plus studies that David and and Dr. Walter Willett reviewed. Uh, in the milk paper, and it's called Milk and Health. It's in the New England Journal of Medicine. You can Google it. I think it's, is it open source? Can people download it if they want? No, but go to my Medium page. Yeah. There's, a, there's a blow by below summary for the general public. Yeah. And I think you're going to put a link to that Medium piece. Yeah, absolutely. It's, yeah. it's a great article. I read it. It's it sort of digests it all. So that's one. Two is it may not increase the, decrease the risk of fractures. So in fact, maybe there's an increased risk of fractures and people have more milk, especially when they're younger. Uh, it also seems to increase certain cancers, like endometrial cancer, prostate cancer, all that may reduce colon cancer. It uh, may be linked to weight gain if people are having low-fat milk products because it doesn't make you feel full and satisfied. And may make you eat more food, uh, which makes you gain weight. Uh, it also seems to be linked to certain allergic disorders and clearly digestive issues for people who have lactose intolerance, which is probably 70% of the world's population. <laughs> And uh, the milk we're eating isn't the milk we ate uh, or drank. Uh, it is a very different product that's homogenized and in, in altered in ways that affect its uh, health benefits. Uh, and then, of course, the industrial dairy we eat is a lot of got environmental consequences. Uh, and the fact that uh, we're having this very hormonally active food has real concerns. So I think, you know, as, as a functional medicine doctor in my practice, I, I've seen the evidence of what you're talking about. And I think um, it's something that I think people... Are, are not really aware of. And especially since the government is so strong and since the Dairy Council is so strong in the marketing efforts, we've really sort of been bamboozled to think this is nature's perfect food, which it is, but only if you're a calf. <laughs>